I'm Scorpio and Cross Watchers. Uh, this is your November reading for the 1st to the 15th. However, time is fluent and whenever you view this is whenever you're meant to hear the message. If it, however, does not resonate with you, you can try checking your moon, rising, and Venus sign for love. I do my uploads in reverse astrological order, so they'll be uploaded from Pisces through to Aries if you are waiting for additional readings. Harmony and Kindred Spirits. So, there may have been a situation where you met someone and, like, from the second you met this person, you automatically felt like you've known them your whole life. Like, it was just, like, that feeling of coming home. And this person brings a lot of balance to your life with harmony here. Okay, Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Here we go. What messages do you have, Spirit, for Scorpio for the first half of November 2019? What messages do you have for our Scorpios? Okay. So, yeah. We have um, the Eight of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. We have Sagittarian energy here with Temperance. This is about a lot of communication coming in, fast communication coming in with a certain individual. Um, this is very, very heated, very passionate. Um, it's a fiery kind of energy. And there's just so much balance and restoration. This person for you, Scorpio, is almost like a healing energy. Like this connection just seems to like heal you. What actions did Scorpio take in November toward their love interests? What actions did Scorpio take toward their love interests for the first half of November? What messages do you have, Spirit, for our Scorpios? Oh, wow. This is starting off great, you guys. So we have the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So this is about moving forward. Moving forward really quickly. I feel like as soon as you met this person, Scorpio, you immediately felt this connection like you've known them your whole life. They just started to heal and balance things out in between the two of you. Um, I see something, something that's just really healing, something that's really, really fast because we have two cards about movement here. There's a lot of communication, a lot of back and forth going to see each other, a lot, a lot of, a lot of talking, you know, wanting things to progress. And I see this offer coming in for you with the Ace of Pentacles here. There's like an offer coming in. Let's find out a little bit more. What more can you tell us about this connection? What more can you tell us about this connection? Scorpio and their love interest for the first half of November. What messages do you have, Spirit? Sorry if you don't get all the cards in view, but I will do my best. Okay, so what we have here is the Five of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the King of Cups, Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Three of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. So you may have to... You may have to leave something behind. This water energy here, this could be you, this could be your person, take it however it resonates. The King of Cups is a very, he is, he has emotions, you know, they're very deep, you know, he's very compassionate, very kind, very nurturing, he's like the ideal husband, whether you're male or female, does not matter. This is like the ideal husband type of energy, this is like the, the person you want to start a life with. The only negative I really find to this king is that sometimes because he's so in control of his emotions, sometimes you may not know where he stands. Like, I feel like for you guys, what's putting you off about the situation is when this person comes towards you, 
they come towards you really passionately, really hot, you know, really sensually, but you're not, you're not sure how they're like, how they, how they feel about you, if they love you, you know, like where this is going, but I do feel like they want stability and commitment with you. And I feel like you're kind of feeling left out in the cold because you're not sure how this person feels because this person may not express themselves the best. Or this could be you, just not sure how to express to your person. Like you may, this person, one of you has no problem coming in really hot and passionately, really steamy. But the, but like, it's like, they just don't know how to express love. And that's different. So you may be concerned that this is just lusty. And that's why you're feeling kind of left out in the cold. Because you don't know how this person's emotions are. Or vice versa. If the cross watcher's watching this and it applies to you, just take it however it resonates. But I do see a lot of, um... A lot of work being put into this relationship, an offer being presented, a lot of fast communication, a lot of back and forth going to see each other. Um, and I see work being put in here with the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is all about, you know, collaborating, teamwork, effort. And with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like it's divinely guided. I feel like, you know, you put something out into the universe for this to blossom and grow. And I think that's happening. I think you're just um, hesitant because you're not sure how this person feels about you because their emotions might be camouflaged. But this person brings this like balance and like harmony to your life. They make you feel just like this inner peace when you're with them. And like from the minute you met them, it just felt like you had known them your whole life. Like you just immediately felt comfortable with this person. What messages do you have spirit about the outcome between Scorpio and their love interest? Those came right out. Okay, so we have the Two of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Hangman, Pisces Energy. And then we have the Six of Wands, more Fire Energy. So, someone here is making a decision. We have Leo here at the bottom of the deck with a Strength card. So, it doesn't have to be the sign you're dealing with. It's just the energy of the card. It could be an element that's already in their chart. Or, you know, just the energy that they're embodying. But someone here you know, is really holding themselves back. They're using all of their strength to not go as fast as they can with this, to progress this as quickly as possible because they kind of want to get clear here. They want to be able to make a decision. You see, she's blindfolded. She's got two swords in opposing directions and she, he or she, doesn't matter, is unsure where to go. Somebody feels stuck. They feel a stagnancy here because they can't really make a decision and they're holding themselves back with the strength card. But I do see victory here. I feel like this could be such a beautiful union. There's so much harmony and balance between the two of you. And both of you just have this passion for each other. And this, these feelings, this depth, this emotion is here, but it's hidden with the King of Cups. I don't feel like someone here is, is able to express themselves the way that they want to. Um, but I see this, this new staple beginning with someone. And I see a victory here, a very passionate one. I just feel like you're holding yourself back. Or this could be them holding themselves back. You're just maybe they're just afraid here because this card can also represent ego sometimes. And when I say ego, it doesn't mean this person thinks they're better than anyone else or anything like that. It's more like you're proud the, with the lion here. You're proud, like you don't you don't want to appear weak. You're working really hard, Scorpio. Or this could be the cross watcher. Like I said, take it how it resonates. Someone here is like really working hard to hold themselves back from making this decision. Um and they're holding their emotions back because they don't want to get hurt. They don't want to appear vulnerable or weak. Or they're afraid that someone's not going to return that. But I feel like, you know, this connection here is mutual. And I feel like it's divinely guided. And I feel like between the two of you, you both feel this. Like you've known each other your whole lives. So I think here there's a potential for a new beginning. Um, a stable offer for a victory here once someone makes a decision to open up about these emotions and to kind of you know stop holding themselves back so scorpio i hope that you enjoyed this reading please like comment and subscribe and i thank you so much for watching